Good people, how y'all doing? How y'all doing on this beautiful, beautiful Friday afternoon? My name is Justin Evans. I'm checking in live here in the Young Entrepreneur Studios. And of course, you already know we like to uh, interview special guests, uh, you know, creatives, uh, talent, you know, from uh, our city, but also around the world. And today we have an international pro athlete uh, that will be checking in on the show. But before we get started, you already know we got a First, go into our quick commercial break and allow you guys to share this video, tag this video, do whatever you need to do to get involved. We'll be right back. Check out this quick commercial from Royalty, and we'll see you guys soon. Would y'all like to try all three? Sure. Okay, so we'll start with King. He, he runs the kingdom. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's really good. <laughs> That's really good. Thank you. Thank you. Too bad oh. you can't try, buddy. I know. <laughs> Ooh, That's very good. Thank you. That was the king? Yes. And very simple, basic ingredients, hurricane sugar, plain water, um, fresh fruit, on the stove, tea, so no bottled liquid stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know your stuff. <laughs> Been doing it for a while now. Learn from the feel best. so good. <laughs> oh, I was just telling him that it's, it's, it's a refreshing mm -hmm. taste. Like it gives yes. you a little jolt yes. when you first drink it because of that, that tartness. I love it. Nice. I like Followed the way she by the sweet. Her head back. <laughs> yeah, I like Save the sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get every last drop. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that is all. Yeah. This is air. Okay. This is actually my biggest seller. Wow, and I okay. tell people, I think it's because if the tea is really good and the lemonade is really good, you put them together, it's quite like green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> all right, good people, and thank you so much for watching that quick commercial. Big shout out to Royal Tea. If you're thirsty, if you want to elevate your game, uh, make sure that you holler at my friends so that they can put you in the game. And so today, as I stated earlier, I have a very special guest. Uh, he is a seven-year pro athlete. Um, he is a community leader uh, in Birmingham in the state of Alabama. Um, he uh, continues to come back home and pour out his, uh, his, his skills, pour out his training, his knowledge to the community. He's an entrepreneur, and uh, we're just so happy to have him on the show. So without further ado, I am going to bring on Ricky Tarrant, give me one second, guys. Let me break them on, break them on. My God. Ricky, what's good, brother? What's good with you, my boy? How you doing, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good. Look, trying to um trying to add both of us to the screen. Give me one second, bro. There we go. There we go. You there we go. How you good? doing today, brother? I'm good, bro. How you doing? Man, I'm doing good, man. Look, thank you. Uh, thank you for taking our time out of your day. Um, you know, it's amazing to have you here, brother. Um, you know, I know, I've known you for a long time, but for where we are now, you know, in our lives, man, like I say, I just want to appreciate you and give you that honor, you know, for coming on the show. So thank you for that, brother. Nah, thank you for having me, man. I, um, I've been trying to keep up with you, man. I like what you're doing, you know what I'm saying, for the city and, you know, just trying to bring positive energy to everybody. So, you know what I'm saying? I've been keeping up with you and I like it, bro. Hey, appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. Now, look, let's talk about you, man. So now we're in year seven, um, and I, I just want to talk about this upcoming season, you know, briefly. Um, I know that we're getting ready to leave soon. You know, what what's your mindset right now heading into year seven? Ah, uh, man, it's um, it's gonna be a big year for me for sure. Um, you know, I had I had surgery this off season on my elbow, so it's kind of been slow for me as far as just really doing what I want because I had to, you know, rehab. Um rehab that but um i've been doing my treatment at hoover it's been going good so this is a big season for me mentally you know just to to get back where i was you know before my injury um so you know i'm, I'm pretty focused i've been hitting the training hard been in the gym pretty hard so it's a big year for me bro that's what's up that's what's up are we playing with a new team this year yeah man so i'll be in this will actually be my third time in turkey but this will be a different team you know what i'm saying okay. actually the same city i played in before so it'll be a, 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 a different team. Uh, most of a lot of younger guys, but I'm looking forward to the challenge for sure, man. It'll be cool. What's up. So year seven, are we stepping into a, a leadership role? You know, what what are they expecting, you know, from Ricky Tarrant this year? Uh, man, definitely um, got to be a leader this season, you know, just as far as, you know, me being in my prime, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, year seven, just with my experience, with everything I know, just trying to, 
you know, step outside that comfort zone and just try to be a leader. You know, it's something in life that we all got to do. And not just with basketball, with anything we're doing in life. Sometimes you ask to take on that role. So, you know, it'll be it'll be a new challenge, but something I'm definitely looking forward to. That's what's up. And you mentioned the word comfort zone. I wanted, I, I did want to, um, you know, talk about that. Um, you know, just living internationally and being away from home, you know, how has that journey been, um, you know, just to be able, you know, be able to travel and see the world, but be away from family and friends? Ah oh, man, it's it's so many emotions, bro. You know, you got your days, you know, where you miss a home. You got your days where you know it's 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 all. I look at it as all the sacrifice, man. You know, God put me in a position to not only bless my family but bless others from all across the world and show them that right. no matter where they're from, they could do whatever they want to do. So you know, it it's a it's a great challenge, man. You know, just as far as just being away from home, learning different cultures, learning different people. You know, learning how to live on my own. Well, you can't really call too many people, you right, know. Right, you, right. It ain't it ain't calling mom and calling daddy, you know. So it's it's definitely a great experience, man. And like I said, I just feel blessed by God just to be able for one to do what I love, and for two, just to hopefully kids watching in Birmingham will understand that you know it's you is you can do anything you want to do, man. But but living overseas, man, it's been a blessing. Like I said, you got your days where it's like, man, I went mine a ten piece from Green Acres, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know, once you once you learn the in and outs of the lifestyle and, and, and it's all about perspective, man. How do you look at the situation you're in? So I'm truly blessed, man. I can't I can't complain at all. That's what's up. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. And so let's talk about the journey, you know, how we got, you know, to the international league. I know that we uh went to Alabama and um, you know, how how was that transition, you know, from college to Pro Bowl? I mean, um, to be honest, bro, it wasn't it wasn't much much of a a hard transition because you know coach grant luckily playing through high school basketball you know we coach grant taught us a lot of things not only about just working hard man so when they kind of transitioned to college to pro it, it wasn't i wouldn't say it was hard man because for one you know we all got to work hard so you know right. if you don't work hard it ain't it ain't nothing you could do so you yeah, know right, right it wasn't right. a hard transition it's just it's more mental man i think the older you get you realize this a lot of things is more mental than physical you know so once you like i said you find out the end the ends and outs of the of the mental part it's it's not much of a transition you know you you have your bumps in the roads you know some years better than others some high some lows you know that's a part of the journey man rick i gotta give you your credit on this bro um, I, I know a lot of athletes, you know, they wish they could be in your position, but dude, you're very talented. You know, we got to give you that. And then, you know, guys, if you're listening out there, you got to put in hard work. But, you know, Ricky is very, very, very talented, you know, at what he does. And I want to I want to ask you this, brother. What are what are some of the questions that the young guys have or some of your peers have, you know, when it comes to your longevity and how long you've been able to do this, you know, on your journey? Um, I know because talent and hard work is one thing, but it's like, yeah. guys, you, you know, you got to. I mean, you know, it's it's pretty different now because, you know, you now you see kids on Instagram, five, six years old working out. You know, as far as we grew up, we grew up in the neighborhood. You know, we grew up. Right. That's how we that's how we learned our training. That's how we got down. Playing basketball. Right. But, you know, now it's just so different. So, you know, kids, you know, kids have all, all type of questions. But the main thing to them is just is just trying to get them to understand, bro, that. That you can do with it literally whatever you want to be. I know we're talking about me and basketball, but that's with anything, bro. You know, right. if you, you you if you put yourself, like I said, stepping outside that comfort zone and just finding your purpose and finding something you want to do, you can do it, bro. You know, it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna you're gonna have some some years ain't gonna be good. That's how I to be honest, bro. I look at it like basketball. You are you a former athlete, so you know with football, baseball, right. everything. You know, it's some games you win by 30. And you were supposed to you weren't even probably supposed to win. And some that some games you lose by 10, you're supposed to win. Some games you lose by 30, you know, and then right. it's all a, when you look back, it's all a learning lesson, man. So I, that's how I look at it. Like I just treat my try to treat my days like look at it as basketball. Okay, this day we didn't go good, but it was a learning process. So I think that's what the kids gotta understand the big picture. And when you understand the big picture and you working for something, man, you you can achieve anything you want to achieve, bro. That's amazing. That's amazing. And talking about Birmingham. Let's just talk about some of the things that you are doing in the uh, in the community. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Dream Mentally. Did I did I pr- pronounce it? Dream Mentality, yeah, yeah. Dream Mentality, uh-huh. most, uh-huh. most definitely. So big shout out to them. Um, you know Orlando Coleman for all that he's doing. Um, I, I saw the uh, back to school giveaway recently. Let's talk about that, brother. How how is that partnership going? Oh, uh, man, it's going good, man. I don't want to take credit that, for that's uh, uh, Dream Mentality is Orlando. He the one who started the vision. You know, started right. the brand, started the goal. You know, just me, that me being my best friend, I support it as much as I can. Man. Right. But he's done a great job with, with you know, people, you know, you got your own business. So, you know, people don't really understand what's going behind the scenes. You know what right. I'm saying? They don't understand. 
the dedication, the hard work to take for that big picture when they see young entrepreneurs for it to look good, you know. So I just yeah. really give a lot of credit to him, man, and just uh, the, the big picture he's doing. Is, and it's not, it's not even about clothes, man, just trying to give people a vision, like I said, to understand they could be whatever they want to be, man. So he did the giveaway last week. It was really good, you know, for the kids. Um, We actually, we didn't get to do a camp like we wanted to. But like I said, my surgery and things were just so, this summer went by so fast, man. But we just... We, we plan on doing a lot of stuff for the kids in the community as far as next year, just giveaways and basketball camps and just trying to help these kids in Birmingham see the bigger vision and understand that, man, we we do this for them because they're the future. You know what I'm saying? They're the ones right. who going to be the next generation. They're the ones that's what keep me going. So I think with Dream and Tyler, I think Orlando's done a great job with just trying to put it out there, not just as a clothing line, but just as an image of working hard, being the best you, you know what I'm saying? Being being the best, you no matter what the situation is. So it's been, it's been, it's been a blessing, bro. And, and and I'm thankful for your partnership, brother, and, and even you supporting him as a friend. Mm -hmm. That's big. Um, I, I look at recently. Um, you know, LeBron came back to the Drew League. You know, in mm -hmm. DeRozan, and um, you know, just some of the experience that the kids were able to see from that, it was just like, man, you know, I would never be able to see a pro athlete. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, come back and and I actually be able to touch them. And so you have come back to the community over the mm -hmm. years. Um, you know, providing those camps. Um, and you know, I, I remember coming up, you know, we were able to talk to uh, I believe Squeaky Johnson from Yeah, Nike. I remember. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. um, you know, you remember mm -hmm. Squeaky, but mm -hmm. to be able to learn from a pro athlete, you know, someone who took mm -hmm. their career further, I, I gotta commend you, brother. I mean, you could, you know, you could be training or you know, rehabbing, but taking that time to give back, man, that that's big, brother. That's big. Yeah, man, I, I think it's big that we all, you know, give back to not only to our community, but to the future, man, because that, you know, that's how we got it. You know, these kids, they might listen to they might listen to you sometimes, but they see what you do. And I think it's a big right. part of that we show action in the community. And I wasn't <laughs> able to do as many things as some as, as I wanted to, but the, the kids is something like I said, we got to give back to. We're not only the kids but the community because Birmingham could be so much more than what it is, man. So, you know, we're working on some things next summer. Just try to, I ain't going to really speak on it right now, but some big yeah, things yeah, for we basketball. Talk too much about know, it. To, to try to bring, let the kids see more than what they're seeing right now. Because it's a lot of talent in Birmingham, man, you know, and, and it's it'll be good for the kids. So, like you said, it's it's good, you know, that we try to, you know, help the community and help the kids because that's the future, man. That's It's, it's about them, you know. I'm on, I'm on the back burner. I only got so many years left, then it's their time to shine, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's about. Hey, that's an off that's an off camera, you know, combo. Like yeah. we, we definitely in our prime. I heard you know you say what I'm saying. That. Yeah, for and sure, so, man. Um, you know, it's definitely time for um, you know, those of us, um, you know, that's watching out there. We got to take advantage. Um, you know, we at the point now where you know we're supposed to be pouring back into the community. So that's one of the main reasons I wanted to bring them on. Um, I, I've seen you at the camps. You know, I've seen you at Pleasant Grove Gym. You know where, you know where you played. You know high school ball. And um, just being able to come back to home, and that's big. I know, like, I know a lot of people that can't come back home. Yeah, um, man. So that, that's big, it's a man. blessing, man. It's a blessing to be able to, you know, come home and use what God get my God given, you know, ability to to try to pour into others, man. You know, and just like I said, it's not about me; it's about these kids. Cause I didn't, I got. Don't get me wrong; I got a lot more I need to get better in a, a lot of places. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. you know, get to go. But I've I've seen some things, and I'm truly blessed. And I won't these other kids and people to see the world also, bro. That's what it's about. Gotcha, gotcha. Look, three quick questions, bro. What's a good pregame song or pregame playlist, you know, that, that, that'll that be playing in Ricky Terrence's iPod before the game? Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. I got, when, when I'm in my game mode, it's Kodak, Youngboy, and Ride Away, man. I just, I don't know. I go with the pain music when I'm, you know, getting in that mode. Just, you know, just to try to Put me back and just thinking about middle school basketball and high school basketball, you know, all the training, everything you went through, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I go with that for the most part, man. That's what's <laughs> up. What about a good pregame meal? You know, what 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 do you eat before the games? Uh pregame meal, bro. I'm going with the pasta, you know, chicken pastas. Might go with a steak, steak and eggs, you know, some nothing too crazy, you know. You not be you want to feel light on your feet, you know, going yeah. into the game. So, you know, some around that nature. That's what's up. All right, last last thing. Top five point guards of all time. Oh, I had this three, conversation three, a couple weeks three. ago. Give I give you five. I'm gonna give you my top five. No, no specific order though. No specific okay. order. I'm gonna go Isaiah Thomas. Got you. Steph Curry. Got you. Magic Johnson. Must. See, this way it get tricky, bro. Yeah. This way, you know, you know. 
Man, so I said I got I said I got Isaiah Thomas. We got Isaiah. I got, I got Steel, Curry, and I and got Magic. Magic Johnson. Man, I'm gonna go with bro. I'm gonna go with Steve Nash. I watched with, Steve Nash. I'm gonna go with Steve Nash. Night. You know, I'm gonna go with Steve Nash. For that fifth one, bro, it's just so open, man. Because you know, you can say Allen Iverson, but was he yeah. a point guard? You can say Westbrook because of the triple doubles, but like, you know what I'm saying? So for that fifth one, bro, just off of, I'm going to say Allen Iverson because that was one of my personal, you know, players growing up and just the right. demeanor and mindset he had on the court. Man, that's what's up. I appreciate you for answering those, you know, those, those three quick questions. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And um, I did have another question just about the, um, I've been seeing the pro uh, ball link ups, you know, that you've been doing with, um, you know, other college athletes and some mm -hmm. of your peers. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's big, bro. You know, just being able to see unity. Um, you know, nah, it's man. hard to get us together, you know. Yeah, man, it's it's so been it's been great, bro. It's been great, honestly, because you know, it's something we started last summer, you know, just trying to get a lot of the pros and a couple of you know the top college guys in for 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 a run. And at first we just you know, we were just thinking that let's get a link up and play some basketball. Right. But then this summer is just a different vibe, just the more we playing together and being around each other and just being around, you know what I'm saying, your people and people where you grew up from who kind of got the same under right. understanding as you and just Cause like you say, bro, other people do it, and it's not just with basketball. You know, you got people who link up with real estate, you got people who link up with all type of different venues, and and Lord knows where this can take us. You know what I'm saying? Lord knows where this dream pro runs can go. So, bro, it's just it's more people don't understand. It's more than just basketball. It's more than just making money, bro. It's all about building a foundation and building right. something special that'll last for a long time. You know what I'm saying, bro? So that's really what it's all about. Like I said, just to be around with other guys who chasing a dream, chasing. Kind of the same dream as you, bro. It's a blessing, man. It's really a blessing. Most definitely, most definitely. Our family, our family proud. How, how's the family, brother? Oh Are man, family doing, family doing good, man. Dad retired from Birmingham. I don't know if you knew that. Um, yeah. Little sister finna finna be a senior at Troy. Mom's been working, so everything's been good, bro. Just taking it one day at a time, bro. That's what's up. Taking so, it one day up. at a time, man. Hey, man, this is my final question, bro. Um, what's something that you know you live by every day? Um, something that you may give someone else, you know, some encouragement that keeps you going on your journey. Ah, uh, man, to be honest, bro, I just told myself that I signed a life contract to work hard every day, bro. Like no matter, no matter situation, no matter how hard it get, rainy days, snowy days, you know how it go, bro. I just, you know, that's my motivation. I woke up every day. Not only to be honest, because it's not about me, bro. It's it's bigger than me. It's about the people who believed in me growing up, from school teachers to middle school coaches to, to high school coaches. So right. I understand, bro, the position I'm in, I can't be selfish. It's not just about me. You know what I'm saying? If I just be selfish and look at it about me, I would have been failed a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So I just understand that God blessed me. He ain't blessed me no different than nobody else. I just choose to wake up every day and go as hard as I can, bro. And when you do that and you find your purpose, God will open so many more doors for you and you'll get blessed in so many ways, man. So I just... Try to work hard, bro, and keep God first, bro. And it's, it's you know, and control what I, what you can control. And when you do that, when you can control the things you can control, and you worry about what you can control, the sky's the limit, bro. Amen, cuz. Amen. I appreciate that word, and I hope that you guys out there receive that too. Um, just as a friend and a supporter, I've been watching him. Um, I'm a little bit older than Ricky, but I still look up to him. He's an inspiration. He's a motivation, you know, to our community, to the city, uh, to the place, you know, where we're from. And, uh, man, like I say, bro, just from peer to peer, it's just good to see you uh, continuing to do your thing. Um, I want to tell you to trust the process. And, um, you know, we wish for year 14, year 20, you know, if, if you want to do it you, like man. that. Like I um, said, man, I'm also, see, I see everything you're doing, bro, and I'm, you know, I'm proud of it, man. Like, you know, we came, we, we grew up together in a sense, you know what I'm saying, and just to see you transition from the sports side to a whole different lane, man, is much respect, bro, and to see you keep pushing keep pushing no matter what people may think of i don't know if people say whoop the whoop, but i i you know what I'm saying? i love it bro i love it bro for real hey you'd be surprised bro but I we gotta it, trust bro. the process man that's for something sure, that bro. we live by by here um and and definitely we can't quit because like you said we are the example so many right. people looking up to us and um just just that hard work bro i know mm -hmm. I've, I've always known you for hard work mm -hmm. you know you you know me and what i put into the game and it's like we have to be able to like you say it's not just about ball be able to transition it you know, in other avenues. Mm -hmm. And so um, we wish you the best, like I say, on, on all of your entrepreneurship journeys um, and especially in the basketball future. And take these last 30 seconds, bro. Uh, shout out your team. 
uh, shout out yourself and let everybody know where we should be following you on social media and where where we should be, um, you know, looking to see you this upcoming season. Um, so yeah, man, I'll be in um in Turkey this uh, upcoming season at Ankara, Turkey, in the capital. Um, my team called is um Ted Ted Ankara College. Um, we're competing in the uh, TBL League in Turkey, man. So and you can follow me on Instagram at um Ricky T two hundred five. Um, I try to, you know, keep the content to, you know, just trying to push people to be better every day, man. Like I said, I appreciate you for letting me share, you know, my quick little words and message, man. It means a lot. Hey, man, it's good, bro. Thank you for taking out your time. It really means a lot, bro. It really means a lot to me. I hope that you guys out there really enjoy this interview. This is not going to be the last time we appreciate see it. Yeah, we got we got to do another one during the season, man, so I can yeah. keep an update on things for sure, yeah. bro. Yeah, hey, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to catch you. I'm uh -huh. going to catch you after one sure. of these games. You uh -huh. know, after one yeah. of these games, I'm going to definitely catch you, brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, just thank you for being open, man. Continue to trust the process. We're going to get you some gear, too. We'll get for you sure, bro. Uh, I'm going to DM you my number as soon as we get out, bro. All right, bet, bet, my bet. Number. Okay. And guys, please, please, please make sure that you support Ricky Tarrant. Um, support his endeavors in Birmingham. Support Dream Dream Mentally Dream Dream Mentality. I'm sorry. Dream Mentality. Right. There we go. <laughs> um, support Dream Mentality. Um, and, and just like I said, man, thank you guys for watching. We will continue to have more interviews like this. If nothing else, peace, love, and blessings to you all. Thank you once again, Ricky, and we'll see you guys next time. Appreciate you having me, bro. No doubt, bro. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay.